Alrighty guys, welcome back to this here with Safety Jester. We're going to be playing some uh, some games on the computer today and there's a reason for that. Number one, it's been a while since I actually done that and I always like to do that. In fact, my channel started playing games on the computer. Number two is because my camera, uh, my extra camera, I have one camera here, I have a camera here, I had a camera over here. Two of my two of my three cameras are busted, so I don't have any camera to to do other than the camera that faces me. So that's kind of, eh. I mean, I could play the game, but then you wouldn't be able to see it. All you do is see me. So I figured, well, since that camera broke, it one of the little pieces inside the little camera kept falling in, and it was like making everything real hazy and. Um, I just decided I'm, just, I'm done with it. I'm not going to mess with it. So I ordered two new cameras. Should be here tomorrow. From Amazon. Next, I think they were next day delivery. So hopefully, um, order two more, that, oh, two more cameras so I can replace the one that was up over here. So you can get this view sometimes that comes across the table like that. And then, of course, the one that's up over here that is the main one that I use. So hopefully, uh, hopefully those two, when, when they arrive... They'll fix my problem. In the meantime, we got a problem, though, and that is we have to find something else to do. So I um, can't play with Marvel Champions. I mean, again, I could, but then you wouldn't see anything, which is kind of bad. I mean, that's why you're here is to watch watch the game. And also, we got our app of golf, which I can't again. So anyways, we're going to be playing games on Board Game Arena today. And I thought we'd start off by playing touring machine this is a, a use your oh uh, before i before i get to that so I, I was talking about why why are we doing this on the computer as opposed to like doing it digitally well number one again my camera's broke number two i like doing things on the computer i need to do more of it number three there's three reasons why my third reason is yeah there you go so I got my COVID shot today and I got my flu shot and I've already been blowing my nose and sneezing and so I'm just not feeling 100% today. So, uh, and I have my Sensei Red shirt on, believe it or not. So, um, anywho, we're going to play, we're going to play Touring Machine. Hopefully that doesn't upset too many people. All right, I'll move this out of the way. So I've never played this game. Uh, I have watched lower, slower board gamer play it, and it doesn't seem it's it's a it's a thinky game, right? It's a it's a thinky thinky game. So let me see if I can switch this over like that. All right. Let's see if I can put both of these. I'm just trying to see if I can put both of these screens on without it causing too much of a problem. All right, there we go. All right, uh, so, and then I can bring this over here. So again, let's uh, let's start it. We're gonna be starting solo. We are gonna be playing with classic mode, standard difficulty, five verifiers. Let's start a solo, let's go. There we go, solo away. Here we go, so. So this game, uh, so if you're not familiar with this game, oh, and look at my text matches the background color. That's awesome. So you can't see anything until I change my text. So let's change the color of my text. Um, let's just make it black. There we go. We'll make it black. Nothing too difficult. So what is what is Turing Machine? So this game is kind of like the old Mastermind game where you're trying to figure out the puzzle of what what the code is but you do a little bit differently in this game where you can ask the we'll call it for no better reasons we'll call it the computer you can ask the computer like hey does this equal this does this do this does this you know and it give you and it'll give you a yes or no answer and so you can try to figure out like for example here you can see one of our verifiers is is the blue equal to one? Is the blue greater than one, right? And so like if I put, 
if I put my code in as a 1, when we ask this question, we'll find out, is a blue 1? Is it yes or no? If I actually put the code in as a 3, and I ask this question, it'll say, is blue not a 1? Right? Because that's the two questions I'm asking. Is it is it not a 1? And if it's yes, then it's going to be a 2, 3, 4, 5, but it won't be a 1. So, these other questions we can ask are... How many fours are in the code? Are there no fours? Are there one four? Are there two fours? Are there three fours? Is yellow greater than purple? Is yellow equal to purple? Or is yellow greater than purple? And is all three of them equal to an even number and an odd number? And then finally, how many pairs are there? So we have to strategically think about what questions we want to, or what our code is so we can ask the right questions. That's part of the game. It's not just like, Oh, I'm just going to put in a random code. You have to think about what is the best questions. Like, do I want to find out if there's one, four, two, four, three, four? So I'm going to put in four. And then I want to ask the question, is yellow greater than purple? Right? And so I want to have, I want to have yellow higher than purple. I don't want it to be equal. So I can put purple as a two or three or one. It doesn't matter. I'll put a three there. That would actually help because then I'll find out if there's any pairs as well. So I'm going to put in the code 343. Choose this code. All right. So that's the code we entered into the system. Now we can find out. We can ask our questions. What's the most important question we want to ask? We can use up to three questions. Let's ask, is yellow greater than purple? Because we are asking it because our yellow is higher than purple. Right, so we're asking it, is yellow greater than purple? And so we click on it, and it'll put the little sheet behind it, and it puts as an X, which means no. So yellow is not greater than purple. So I can say, uh, yellow is not greater than purple. I know it's not. It could be equal to, or it can be less than, but it's not equal to purple. All right. Next thing we're going to ask is how many fours? So let's find out if there's just one four or if there's zero fours or possibly two fours. Let's ask this question and we're going to ask, and is there one four? It is not, there is not one four because in our answer, so either mean there's, there's no fours or there's two fours or there's three fours. That could be four, four, four right across the board. Uh, so let's find out if a blue is greater than one. Or do we want to ask how many pairs? Let's find out how many pairs, right? So let's ask if there's, so right now in our in our guess, we have one pair, a three and a three. So is that correct? Is there one pair? It doesn't mean it has to be a pair of threes. It's just asking, is there one pair in the answer? And the answer is yes. So there is one pair. So that means we know that there is a pair. Again, it doesn't have to be a three. It can be a four, four. It can be a, it can be a, a two, two. It can be anything. Okay. So now, now after we ask our three verifiers, we can go and at, tell it we want to put the solution in, and it asks us, "Do you want to put the solution in?" In this place. We don't. We have no idea what it is, so we're going to say no. And it's going to ask us to put another code in. So, all right. So we know there's at least one pair. We know that yellow is not greater than purple. So let's find out if yellow is equal to purple, because then we'll know that they're the pair. We'll know that yellow and purple are the pair, right? So if we put in... Uh, three and three, we can ask, is yellow equal to purple? And if it's not, then we know yellow is less than purple. Uh, we know there's no, there's, there's not one four. It could be two fours or it could be no four. So we're going to, we're going to not choose a four. So, uh, Let's put this in like that. There we go. All right. So we're going to choose the code 233. So asking your code is just as important 
as your verifiers. You have to be strategic about not just you have to be strategic about what um, how you're going to do this. So now let's ask: Is yellow right? Is yellow? We're asking it: Is yellow equal to purple? And it's no. So it's not equal. So yellow is less than purple. We know that. Which means yellow can't be a five because it's 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 less than purple. We know that. Now let's find out if there's no force in the answer. And the question, yes. So there's no force. So nobody is a four. Nobody is a four. Okay. And we know there's a pair. There's one pair. And the cool thing is you can... Uh, you can actually type in notes if you wanted to um, in your little boxes here. We know there's a pair. Okay. And the last thing is, do we want to find out is one greater or is blue greater than or equal to one or higher than one? No, it's not. Which means blue is equal to one. Blue has to be a one. Because we were asking is... R2, is that blue greater than 1, right? It is it's greater than 1, yes, okay. And it's not. So that means that blue is a 1. We know that. So we can double-click it, and we know that that is the answer. So we know there's a pair. We know yellow is less than purple. And... We know there's no fours. I was just going to narrow it down for us. Uh, let's find out if it's even or odd. Right now we have a even number. So we're going to ask it, is it an even number? Oh, do we find a solution? Uh, so we, have to, we can't ask that question yet, right? Um... Okay, do we find a solution? No. Let's go ahead and enter a code. So, we know it's 1. Mm -hmm. We know yellow is less than purple. So, what we want to do is we want to put an, e, an odd number in. We want, to, we want it to be odd. So, 135? Uh, no, that's not true because we have a pair. So, uh... 115 could be the answer. 567, that would be odd. All right, let's choose that number. We know there's no fours, right? We know there are no fours. So this is out, that is out. We know yellow is less than purple. We know blue is equal to one. Now we have to find out if it's even or odd. And we know there's one bear. All right, let's test this go. All right, uh, so we're going to find out, is um, is it an odd number? It is not. It's an even number. Okay. It's an even number. There is a pair. Yellow is less than. There's no fours, and blue is equal to one. That, I, mm, mm. Uh, right, so let's see if we can figure out, I mean, it always, uh, with these verifiers, you should be able to get it, but I'm not getting, I'm not narrowing it down. There is a pair, which means it could be one, one, two. It could be one. Oh, you know what? Um, hmm, okay. If even, so it can't be, it can't be odd 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 it has to be even even uh no it has to be an even number so there's a pair oh, there's got to be a pair which means oh yellow has to be as one yellow has to be a one yellow has to be a one because there's a pair and yellow is less than purple yellow is less than purple so it can't it can't be um 
It can't be equal to purple. So we know that's out. We know that's out. Right. So it has to be one, one, something. And it has to end up it being an even number. So it can't be one, one, one. It can't be one, one, three. It has to be either two or five. So what other, what else do we know? That purple. is either a two or a five. But I don't. Right? It's either a two or a five. But how can we narrow down purple? Hmm. Hmm. I, I, uh, it's either 115 or 112, but I don't know if there's a way to verify if purple is a 5 or a 2. Am I missing something? Well, let's ask another question. Let's just ask, is there a pair? Oh, is there a pair? Yes, right. So we're right because there's one pair. There's one pair. Again, it doesn't have to be the pair that we're put there. It just means... Is there one pair? Yes, so we got that right. So we know that that is correct. We know it's an even number. So two, three, four, or five, six. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's got to be a two. Right, now yeah, we did figure it out. All right, it's got to be a two. Because otherwise, if it was a five, five, six, seven, that would be an odd number. So it has to be a two. There we go. So it's one, one, two is your answer. So now we can pass the criteria. We have found a solution. It is one, one, two is your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, am I correct? Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Woohoo. Doug, if it's, uh, it has to be an even, yes, there you go. So Doug says at the same time, I didn't see your comment. Doug, I wish I would have. Yes, you would have helped me. Uh, we're going to uh, play again. That was good. All right, let's do this. Start again. We're our brains. We're our brains. Our brains are awesome. Our brains are awesome. Okay, so we have again is blue equal to one, greater than one. Is yellow even or on? Is it an, is uh, there more even or more odd numbers? Is uh, blue and yellow greater than or equal to or less than six? And uh, how many triple numbers are there if a number repeats itself? Oh, so, oh, uh, okay, so it could be a triple repeat or just a double repeat or no repeats. Okay, so that's a good question to find out. So we're going to put in... Let's go odd. Let's see if there's a, a, a repeat. All right. Or do we want to go for a triple repeat? Let's go for a triple repeat. And then we can narrow it down from there. We're going to use 333. Three, three. All right. So first things first. Is, it, is there a triple repeat? No. So there's no triples. So means there's either no repetitions or there's a double repetition. We don't know that yet. All right, so is yellow even or odd? It is not an odd, so that means it's an even number. So it is not odd. We know that. Good. It is odd. Oops. It is odd. No. Sorry, it is even. What the hell am I doing? It is even, yes. It's an even number. Duh. Holy cow. All right, and then let's find out is blue. Uh, let's see here. Are there more even than odd? Right now we got more odd. Is that true? Do we have more odd numbers than even numbers? Yes, so there is more 
even or there's more odd numbers. So even there's less even numbers. Wait. There's less even numbers than there are odd numbers. Which is right. It could be all odd, could be several, but okay. Do we find a solution? No, we did not find a solution. 304, what is going on, my friend? How are you doing? Alright, so we know we know yell is even. We know that there are more odd than even numbers. But we know that this is an even number. All right, so that's good. That's good. We've narrowed it down. We've narrowed it down. Your boys didn't even realize it, right? Because if there are more odd than even, that means both blue and purple have to be in odd numbers. They can't be even. It cannot be even. I'm so smart at this game. I'm a smart. All right, now what we're going to try and find out, is there a double? So we need a double. Let's go for one double here. All right, let's find out if blue and yellow are greater than six. Let's find out. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's go four, four. There's our double that we can ask. We can find out if they're greater than six. And um, hmm. uh, purple, purple, purple. What are we going to do with purple? Um, all right, let's do that. What's going on, Thermal Four? How you doing, buddy? So we'll just go four, four, one. All right, let's find out again. Is there a double? Yes. So there is a there, there is a double somewhere in the again. It doesn't have to necessarily match what we have put in there, but we have one double. We're asking, is there one double? And yes. So it could be one, one. Right. So we get the purple. Or the blue triangle is a one, and the and the purple is a one. So, next thing we're gonna ask is: Is blue and yellow greater than six? No, they're not greater than six. So when you add those two together, they're not greater than six. Which means. Um, a four to one, a five and a two. So a blue can't be a five then, right? Blue can't be a five because if it's a five and yellow is a two, that would be great. So it can't be a blue, can't be a five. We've narrowed that down. We are a genius. <sighs> okay. We know there are more odd, odd numbers than evens. And we know yellow isn't even. We don't know. If blue, let's find out if blue is greater than one. Yes. So blue is not a one. That is huge for us to figure that out because we have a four in there. And we asked it, is, four, is blue greater than one? So blue is not a one. So it's not a one, which means blue is definitely a three. And that means yellow is definitely a two, because if it was a six, then it would be higher than yes. So that is out as well. And now purple has to be a, a three, because that's the only one we have a match, and we know there's a match. It's got to be three, two, three, just like that. We are genius, man. I swear we are so good at this game. All right, did we find a solution? Yes, we found a solution. It is three, 20, three. What do you guys think? Am I right? Did I miss something? Before I hit Severify, now is your chance to say in the chat, no, Jester, wait a minute, don't do it. Because if I hit Verify and I'm wrong, I'm blaming the chat for not letting me know. Well, 
Let's go. We're going to verify. Victory! Yes! Two in a row. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. I swear. We're going to start again. Is there a higher difficulty? Come on. Let's, we, need to, we need to crank it up. Let's go. We're going again. We're so good at this game. Boom. All right. So we got, is yo greater than, equal to, or higher than three? Is there more or less, less even or odd numbers? Is there boo and yo, are they greater than a six? Is there a pairs? And is there ascending order or descending order or no order? Okay. So we want, we want ascending order or descending order, I guess. We want yellow is greater than three. We want even numbers. And we want pairs. All right. So we got a lot of questions just by putting down a 422. Let's see what's, what's the most important ones. Let's find out if, let's find out if there's a pair. At least one pair. No, there's not at least one pair. Means there, it's either a triple or no repetition. Probably no repetition. Let's find out if it's ascending or, oh, we didn't have, we didn't put in, oh, we did put it in as no order. Let's see if there's no order. Yes, there is no order. So it doesn't go up to down or down to up. So we know those are out. Okay, and let's find out if you, how you how we're doing with yellow. Yellow is less than three. We know that. So yellow is either one or two. Lovely. We had all even numbers. We didn't ask if it was that. We didn't ask this. We do have to find out if there's a triples. If there's a triple, that would be super easy. Do I have a solution? No. Do we want to just go two, two, two right across the board like that and see if there's a triple number? Right now, oh, there's no order, which means, yeah, it could be a triple. If there's no order. Actually, um, let's put blue and yellow down. Less than six. And we're not going to put any, we're not going to put any doubles. Blue and yellow. Less, all right. So that's our, that's our code. We should be able to figure out what just this, what just these. All right. So blue and yellow, are you less than six? No. So you're equal to or greater than six. You're not less than six. Which means, like if yellow is a two, blue has to be at least a four. So it can't be a one, two, or three. Does that make sense? Am I way over your guys' heads? Let's find out if there's, a, if there's no repeating. Right, there is no repeating. Oh, um, I mean there's no triple. That's what I meant to say. There's no triple. So it's not a triple number. And there's no double number. So... If blue is a four, then black, uh, purple can't be a four. And if blue is a five, then purple can't be a five. So blue is, purple is either, hmm, okay, we don't know yet. But, hmm, let's find out if there's, we have more odd than even. Let's find out if that's true. Yes, more odd than even. So even, there's less even numbers. There is less even numbers than odd. We are so good at this game. No, we don't have a solution yet. We are on the cusp. So we know yellow is less than three. We know yellow is less than three. We know... That there is more odd numbers than even numbers. 
let's find out if let's find out if blue and yellow are gonna be higher than six. So two, two, four and two, six. So he's gonna be equal to six. It's I bet you it's gonna equal to six. I'm gonna I'm I'm betting I'm betting it. Purple, I don't know what we're gonna do on purple yet. Let's just put a three down. That's fine. All right, here we go. No, so it does not equal six. So it equals higher than six. So four and two, so yeah, it's gonna, blue has gotta be a five. Blue has got to be a five. So it can't be a four, it's gotta be a five. And if it's a five, then yellow has to be a, a two. So that's an out. Okay, now what can we deduct from this? We know purple is not equal to blue. And we also know that there is more odd numbers, so it can't be an even number. And it can't be a five. So it's either a three or a one. Now, let's see if we can figure out, is it a three or a one, my friends? Is it a three or a one? It can't be a one. You want to know why it can't be a one? Do you want to know why? Because if it was a 1, it would go 5, 2, 1. That would be a descending order. And we know it's not a descending order. So it's, your answer is 5, 2, 3. I am a genius, I swear. I, my brain is greater than every brain on the planet. Yes, it is a 5, a 2, and a 3. Again, I'll let you guys in the chat. If I've missed something, you think I'm wrong, let me know before I hit submit. I'm going to click in three seconds, two, one, here we go. Victory! Three in a row, baby! Three in a row! Holy cow, this game is easy. This game is a piece of cake. My brain, my brain, my brain, whoo! Who would have thunk, I especially, especially, ah! My body doesn't work so great, but my brain works great. Look at that, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm injured today, and I'm still doing good. All right, so what do we have? Blue, greater than or equal to three. Again, with the verifications, are there one, three, or one, no twos, one, two, two twos, or three, two, three ones? Is yellow greater than or equal to purple? Is there more even or on? And if all of our numbers equal even or odd. Okay, so let's find out if blue is higher than three. Let's find out if there is one one in the answer. And let's find out. You know what? Let's put no ones. Let's put... Um, Yellow less than purple. Yellow less than purple. And we and we have no ones. Alright, so we got three good questions. Let's go. Alright, so question number one is blue greater than three? The answer is no. So it's either equal to or less than three. All right, let's ask, is there zero ones in the answer? And that is true. There is no ones. So we've narrowed that down already. Last but not least, no, yellow is not less than purple. All right. Do we find a solution? No. Let's find out if yellow is higher than purple. Let's find out if there's more even or odds. And we know that yellow, a uh, blue is, oh, what did I say? We guessed a four, and that was wrong. So um, it's not greater than three, right? So let's find out if it's less than three. There we go. All right, let's 
So, is blue less than three? No! So that means blue is a three. That was simple. Blink. All right. We know there's no ones. So, uh, we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's find out if yellow is greater than purple. It is. So, it's not equal. So that means uh, purple can't be a two. Because if yellow was a two, uh, no, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Okay. Um, let's see what else we need. Can, let's find out if there's more. Let's see, we've not asked this question yet. Is there more ev uh, even than odd? No. There is less even than odd. So more odd than even. There's more odd than even. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so yellow is greater than, okay. There are no ones in the answer. We know blue is equal to three. And we know that there are more odd than even numbers. So we have to figure out, is our total even or odd? We know this is a three. Um, let's go. Hmm. Three, four. Well, this is going to be a difficult one. I can already see that. I can already see how in the heck are we going to figure this one out. So three is, we know is equal to three. We know there's no ones in the answer. And we know that yellow is greater than purple. So purple can't be a five. And we know there's more odd than even all right let's um let's choose this code let's go for even or odds is there more let's see ours is uh even so is there more is our is it the answer even no our answer is odd right 10 right so our ours is going to add up to an odd number okay so with that deducted, we should be able to get an answer from this. And what am I missing? There is more odd than even. Well, if uh, yellow, yellow can't be, yellow can't be a two. It has to, it can't, because if it was a two, then purple would have to be a one, and then purple can't be a one, so it can't be a two. We know there is no cop. Uh, there's no. Uh, we don't know about copies in this one, do we? So it could be a three, three, three. No, wait. Do we know that? Mm. No, we do not know that. Okay, so. Five, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it can't be a five, four. It have to be a five, four, three, or three, two, or five, four. Any one of those combos work, though. That's the problem. I'm not seeing a solution. What am I missing? There's got to be a solution that I'm missing. There's more evens than odds. I'm oh, sorry, there's more, I uh, said that wrong. There's more odds than evens. So there has to be at least, there's a, there's a three, a three, a five, there's a four, a four, and a two. So one of the, th the three, three, and the, f and three, three, and the five, one of those has got to be, 
It's got to be one of those three. It's either the three, the three, or the five. Because there's more, there's more odd. So that means it can't be 4-4. Four, four. It means it can't be 4-4. Four, four, because if that was the case, then it would be more evens. Okay. And we know there is more. Yellow is higher. <clears throat> well, let's think about this. If yellow is higher and we chose the three and the two, that would be three, six, seven, eight. That would be an even number. So it can't be three, three, two. So yellow can't be a three. Yo can be a four. That would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it could be a four. Okay. But it can't be a three because the minimum purple can be is a two. Okay. So if yellow is a four and we know yellow is greater than purple. Yellow can't be a four. Oh, that's not true. It could be a five. Yes, it still could be a five. It could be the five and the four, nine, 10, 11, 12. No, that's not going to work either. It could be five, three, though. Five, three, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yes, it could end up being five and three, right? Because that is equal to 11. We don't know how, if there's any doubles. That's the problem. We don't know that. All we know is there are more odds than evens. Hmm. I'm kind of stymied on this one, to be honest. I'm not 100% sure what the solution is going to be on this one. We're going to add up and we're going to be an odd number. We could choose 5, 4, 3. That would be 9, 10, 11. No, that would be 12. So, purple can't be a 4. Because if purple is a 4, then yellow would have to be a 5. And if yellow is a 5, it would be 4 plus 5 is 9, 10, 11, 12. And we know it's not an even number. So, purple can't be... A four. So purple is either a three or two, and yellow is a five or a four. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So we're narrowing it down, and we know it's more e more odds than even. So it can't be four two. So it could be four three, or it could be five three, or it could be five two. But it can't be four two. But we have no way of knowing. No way of knowing if it's a four. Or five. Well, let's think about this again. If let's say it was a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, it'd have to be a four, two. It'd have to be a four, two, or a five, three. So if it's a five and a two, or a four and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I'm sorry, a five and a three, or a four and a two. But if I, oh wait, it can't be 4-2 because that would give us more even numbers. It's got to be 5-3. Now I figured it out. There we go. So it's 3-5-3. Three, three. We got it. Pass. Let's, yes, we got the solution. Of course we got the solution. 3-5-3. Three, three. Again, waiting on the chat to make sure if you see something that I'm missing up. If any of my explanations didn't work. Victory! Victory! Yes! That's three, four in a row. How many? I mean, we're so good at this game. All right. This is not a bad little game, actually. Keeps your mind engaged. Makes you think twice really hard. Maybe three times really hard. All right. What do we have? Uh, yellow is greater than, less than, or equal to four. Is yell even or odd? Is our total, or our, do we have more even or odd numbers? Is blue and yell greater than, equal to, or less than six? And if there is 
repetitions and numbers again. No pairs or one pairs. Let's go with no. Let's go with one pair. Let's see if there's a pair. We're gonna see if yellow is less than four, and we'll look at the pair. And um, oh, that's not yellow, by the way, Jester. Good lord. Uh, so we'll go with the pair less than. Are we gonna go with even or on? We can get. We can. Mm. Okay. All right, let's, let's choose that code. That seems like a good... I like that code, 233. All right. So, yellow, are you, um, are you less than four? Yes, you are less than four. So, you're not equal to, you're not greater than four. So, you are not a four or five. We know that. Are you even or are you odd? If it's even, we know what it is. If it's odd, we don't know what it is. Uh, we asked, is it odd? It is odd, so it's not even. So it's either a one or a three. And now we want to find out, is there one pair? No, there are no pairs. Lovely. Okay. So there's no pairs. We want more even or odd numbers. Let's go with more... Uh, odd numbers let's go with three one and then um oh we can find out if it's less than six that'd be good um we got no pairs we know yellow is on and it's less than four we know there are no pairs and now we got to find out if foo and yo are less than six. Um, purple, purple is just in the running for nothing. I don't know. Let's just go with two. All right. So, is yellow and blue less than six? No. That means they're equal to or greater than six. So it can't be five and a one, because they would, they would well no, because they could equal six. Could equal six. We need to ask it. We need to ask a question again. Okay. Do we want more even or odd? We want more. We have more odd, and it said no. There are more even this time. Oops. More even than odd. More even than odd. Okay. There are more even than odd. There are no pairs. And we know... We know yellow is less than four. We know it's an odd number. So it's one or three, and we know there's no pair. So if it's a one, then blue can't be a one. And if it's a three, then blue can't be a three. And there's more even than there are odds, which means since blue, uh, so the ha, ah, that means since we know this is an odd number, that means blue and purple have to be even. They have to be even. Because there's more even than odds. And this has to be an odd number. Ha-ha! I was so good at this game, I swear. And we know there's no doubles. So it's not 4-4 four, four, or 2-2. Two, two. And we know blue and yellow are greater than or equal to 6. So a 4 and a 1 is not greater than 6. So it can't be 4-1. And it can't be... And it can't, yeah, so it's got to be a 4 and a 3. Four and a three have got to be the answers there. And we know there's no doubles. So that means it's a four, three, two. I am a genius. Pass. Let's go. We found a solution. Four, 32. Again, I'm giving you guys a second to figure out. Catch up because your brains aren't working probably as fast as my brain. I'm sorry. Your brain is not as good as mine. 
but that's okay. Victory again, of course. Of course it's victory. Of course it's victory. It's five in a row, four in a row. Ah, so good at this game. So good. I am. I might be the world's greatest touring machine player in the planet. Just saying. You could be witnessing history, my friends. You could be worth. You could be watching history. So. Blue, greater than or equal to or less than three. Yellow, is it even or odd? Blue is greater than or equal to or less than purple. How many even numbers are there in the code? And is it ascending or descending? Let's try ascending to, let's find out if blue is less than purple. Let's look for ascending, blue, Less than purple, and we'll look and see if um, yellow is odd or not. Okay, go. 234. Let's look at that. So is it ascending? No, it is not ascending. Is blue less than purple? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Blue is less than purple. And now yellow isn't even or odd. It is not odd, so it must be even. And I did it again. It is even. So, boom, boom, boom. We narrowed that down. We forgot to ask whether or not. Um, let's look at less than three. Now, let's look at greater than three. Because we think blue is higher than purple. So blue, a purple can't be a one. But uh, no, I'm sorry. Purple can't be a five if blue is greater than it. Okay. Let's go for a descending order now. Um, so let's go for uh, four, two, one. All right. Is blue greater than three? No, so it's not greater than. I always get these symbols mixed up. So it's either less than or equal to. All right, that's fine. Blue is higher than purple. We know that now. Is it? It is not descending order. So it's mixed up. Okay. How many even numbers? Are there two even numbers in their answer? No, there's not two even numbers. All right, let's go for one even number. Four, no. Is there, oh, you know, it could be three. Um, hmm. We know yellow is an even, so it can't be zero evens. We know that because yellow is an even, so it has to be either one or three. So let's go with one even number. Uh, let's go with the four. Put a five there, and we'll go three there. No, that would be a descending order. We know it's not descending order. So it could, uh, nope, can't be that. So purple can't be a four, right? Because... Can it be a four? Let me think. Uh, it can't be a five because that would just be descending order. Well, no, because it could be a f five, four. Oh, yeah, it could go like that. Five, two, three. So we're going to choose that code. Because there's one even number in there. Is there one even number? There is one even number. So that means blue can't be even. Purple can't be even. Lovely. Let's find out is blue greater than three? No. It's, it's either equal to or less than three. So it's not a five. And if blue is greater than purple, purple can't be a three. Because, uh, yep, so it's got to be a one. Purple has got to be a one. 
Okay, we know there is one even number, which is do or vor. We haven't figured that out yet. And we know there's no order. So it can't go three, two, one. Oh, uh, blue can't be a one. There we go. So it has to be a three. And it can't be a four. It's got to be a four because there's no descending order. If it was a two, it would go three, two, one. And then that would be descending order. It's not descending order. So it has to be a four. That is out. So it's three, four, one. Is your answer? I'm so good at this game. Yes, of course, I found a solution. Three, four, one. I was really good at Mastermind, too. What? Defeat. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. What happened there? Did I click the wrong button? Uh-oh. I think the game, I think the, I think I broke the game. I was so good. It was like, wait a minute, you can't get, no. How many fours are there? Let's figure out if there's one four. Uh, is blue greater than those two? Is yellow greater than those two? Or purple greater than those two? Um, let's go with... Um, even numbers. Let's go with one even number. And are these two numbers, uh, blue and yellow, greater than six? All right, let's try that. Ooh, there's a lot of, wow, that is a lot of crazy, wow, crazy clues. All right, so. Let's find out, is there one four in the answer? Yes, there's one four in the answer. That was a great guess by our part. So. Let's find out. If there is one even number, no. So there's not one even number. Is there zero or two even numbers or three even numbers? Let's find out if yellow and blue are greater than six. They are. So they're not equal to and they're not less than six. They're greater than six. So, all right, we're getting somewhere now. All right, no, we didn't find a solution. We are going to test my hypothesis. There's one four in the answer. Let's find out how many evens there are. We're going to put two evens in the answer. So we want two, two, and we're going to find out. Well, if it was two and two, and purple was greater than both of them, the purple would have to be a five. Let's put that code in. Is purple greater than both of the other ones? No. So purple's not the highest. Is there two even numbers? Yes, there is. All right. So there's two even numbers. And we know that. Is it, a, um, is it mixed up order? Yes, it is. So it's not ascending or descending. Okay. Simple, easy peasy. Let's go. There's one four. Poof, this is um this is a crazy one. There's no order. There's one four. There's two even numbers. We have to find out if yellow is greater than both of the other guys. So let's go yellow greater um Well, no, 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 let's think about this now. Let's think about this. All right, so what we already know, what we already know is that there is a number, either blue or yellow, that's higher than the other two, right? And if there's one four, right, if there's a four, we know there's one four. If four plus one is 
minimum five. So it can't be four. Can't be the lowest. What, what I'm saying is, it can't be four one and something else because that the other number would have to be higher than five. So four has to be the top. There has to be the top dog. So if blue or yellow, whatever it is, is is a four. It's got to be a four. And the other numbers are going to equal two and three and one. That are Oh, it's got to be a three and a one, actually, now that I think about it. Because there's only one even number. So all we have to do is figure out if it's blue or yellow that's higher. Let's go blue and yellow. And let's try that code. Is it blue that's higher than the other ones? It is. So blue is a four. And that means um, there's only one even number. So that means since blue's the four, it's got to be a one and a three and a three and a one. So now I got to ask, is blue plus, you know, um, is there, uh, there's no order. Hang on, let me think about this now. So there's no order. So if blue's, a, blue's definitely a four, so we know that. And we know there's only one four. And there's only one even number. And blue is greater than... The other two numbers combined. So they have to be a one and a one then, right? Yeah, it's got to be four and one one. It's got to be four and one one. It's got to be. Pass. Let's get a solution. Four one one. Call it up on the phone. <gasps> Five star. Five star. One last thing. Any message for the driller? Good job. Yeah. All right, center miss. How do we, how, how? I want to know how that one didn't make it. And there's no way. There's no way. I think I broke the game. I'm pretty sure I broke the game. The game was like, he won too many in a row. There's no way. So blue will go, he's, um, we'll go for an odd number. Uh, how many threes are there? We'll go for a one three in the answer. We'll go for, um, more odd than even. And is blue and yellow less than six? All right, let's do that. So blue, you are a odd number. You're an odd number. All right, that kind of figures it. Uh, is there just one three in the answer? There is just one three in the answer. Are there more even or odds? There is more evens than odds. More evens than odds. All right. Uh, we're going to go for less than six again. Three, one. Uh, let's find out if there's a double number. Is there a double number? No. There's no double number. It's either a triple or there's no repetition. I'm guessing no repetition because we have, uh, well, let's see what this is equal to. Blue and yellow are less than six. They're not equal to and they're not greater than. So we know blue is odd. And they're less than six. So blue can't be a five. And we know there's more even than odd. Because blue's an odd, which means yellow and purple have to be even then. Okay. And so if blue was a three and yellow was a four, two that would be five that would be less okay or that could be a four and a one yeah there's still possibilities we don't we don't think there's a triple number there's no way it's a triple number because there's no available triple number so it can't be a triple i'm going to assume it's not a triple so there's going to be no repetition well which means it can't be four two or four four so it's going to be two four or four two 
If it was a four, hmm. Yeah, because there's more even than odds. There's only one three. Okay, we should be able to figure this out now is what they're telling us. We should be able to figure this out. So it's a th one. One, two, four. Could be one, two, four, right? Because one and two is less than six. There are less even numbers than that, okay? There's only, oh, there is one three. So no, 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 wait. There's got, a th we know it's a three. So, it can't be a 4. It's got to be a 2. Because it's less than 6. And it can't be a repetition, so it's got to be 4. It's got to be a 4. Now, this has got to be the right answer, you stupid jerk. 234. Or, I'm sorry, 324. Right? Yeah, there it is. Back in the winning ways, just like that. Just like that. Back on the winning ways. Easy peasy. Let's go. All right. So we need blue. Greater than purple. Is blue greater than purple or is yellow? Blue. Do, do, do. Is it or even or odd numbers? And is uh, blue and yellow is the equal and even number? Okay, let's try that. All right, is blue greater than purple? No, it is not greater than purple. Which means it's probably not greater than both of them combined either. All right, is there more even or odds? Right now we have more evens. Is there more evens? There are more evens. And blue and yellow to plus purple is equal to even. That is true. All right. Ah. All right, let's go with the one three five because I'm th I'm thinking blue is probably maybe equal to one. It's not equal to one, okay? So you know it's not equal to one. Is purple greater than the other two yahoos? We know we know blue is less than. Is purple? Purple is not greater than the other two, but purple is is not bigger than blue. It's either equal to or less than blue. Okay. Well, we know it's not a one, and it's not a five because it wouldn't be greater. It w it could be greater than purple. Because if purple is a all right. So, all right, so, um, we know those answers. Blue, less than purple. Is blue less than purple? No, so blue is equal to purple. Okay, so whatever blue is, purple is. And we know blue's not one. And we know blue and purple, it's got to be yellow, it's got to be greater than those two then, right? 
We know that purple's not greater than it. We've not found out if... Well, blue can't be greater than it because it's blue, blue is equal to purple. So yellow has to be greater than both of those two yahoos, and they're the same number, and they're not one. So we know it's not a one. It has to be a two because if it was a three, and a, yeah, it can't be three, three, or four, four, or five, five. It's got to be two, two. And this is going to be a five. It's got to be 252. Yep, we know the answer. Yep. Two, five, two. <gasps> what? Oh, come on. Bullshit. What did I miss on that one? I don't know, but that's crazy that I think the game is broken. I think I broke it. I think I was going too fast. Yellow will go less than that. We'll say, we'll assume blue is greater than these guys. All right, so is purple. Purple is even. Purple is even. Is blue greater than purple and yellow? Yes. The so blue is the highest. And yellow. Yellow is okay. Okay. So yellow is not less than three. So it means it's got to be equal to or greater than three. It can't be greater than three because yellow plus purple is not. Hmm. Because purple has got to be at least two. So yellow has to be a two as well. No, yellow's got to be equal to three. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Yellow is not less than three. Oh, yellow could be the big dog, right? So yellow could be the big dog. Hmm. All right. Uh, no, we didn't find a solution, but let's assume yo is greater than three. We know that the purple is even, which means yellow is probably bigger than both of these guys. So blue, we'll assume blue is low. And now we're going to find out if there's more even or odd. Um, let's go with more even numbers. All right, let's try that code. 252. All right, so is blue or is yellow? Uh, no, wait, we want to ask, is yellow bigger than the other guys? No. Oh, we already figured out blue was, uh, that was kind of dumb, wasn't it? Blue is the big dog. Blue is greater than both of the other ones. So blue is going to be a five. Because if they're a three and if... Um, it says yellow is less than three. If yellow is... I was going to ask, is, is yellow greater than three? No, it's yellow is three. Yeah, that's what we already figured that out. So if yellow is three, purple's got to be white, or purple's got to be one then? No, because it says it's even. So that is five. So how can blue be, oh, blue is less than, I keep, that's why. I keep reading these numbers wrong. Blue is less than purple and, okay. Ah, uh, that's why I was messed up those other ones. The last stand and equal to sign always messes me up. It's always, uh, that's why I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. It's not more than, it's less than. Okay, now it makes more sense. All right, so 
We don't know what blue is yet, but we do know you're even. And we do know that blue is less than purple and yellow combined. All right, what is this? Let's read this. Blue is smaller. Oh, it's smaller than both of them. Okay, so yellow is a... Hang on. Let's, let's answer A. It wasn't greater than... It wasn't less than, so it's got to be equal. So we know blue, yellow is a three. And we know purple is even. So it could be a two or a four. And we know blue is less than both of them. So it could be a four and a two. Uh, is there more evens than odds? No, there's more odds than evens. Well, if this is an even and this is an odd, then this has got to also be an odd. So two and four is out. And we know blue is less than. So blue has got to be a one. can't be a five it can't be a three so now we have to figure out is purple let's see what did we ask about purple blue was less than purple and yellow and we also asked if yellow was less than purple and blue we know there is more we have more even on there and it said no so that means there's more odd so there's um oops even or greater than odd right okay so we don't know if um we're gonna assume blue and yellow are gonna be less than six i bet but let's ask just in case Oh, it's our turn. Do we find a solution? Mm, no. We better just we better just figure this out. One, three, four. Alright. Is yellow and blue less than six? No. Yellow and blue are not less than six. <sighs> Oh, uh, right. Now that I think about it, uh, I didn't, it could, they could actually, be, right, it is yellow, uh, did we ask this question? Yes, we did. We asked if yellow was greater than, no. We asked if yellow, or less than, was no. No, wait, yes. We asked if yellow was less than, it said no. We asked if it was greater than, it said no. So we do know that yellow is three, actually. We do know yellow is three. We know that purple is not odd, it is even. We know there are more even numbers than odd. So because this is an odd number and this is an even number, this has to be an even number, which means he cannot be odd. We know that blue is less than, and it's not the sum, it's just less than both of the numbers. Blue is smaller than purple and yellow, right? That was what we guessed. Blue was, uh, wait a minute, wait, 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 no, no, that's not what were the question we were asking, that's why. We were asking if blue was higher, but it's not the question. The question with our 5, 2, 1 was, was purple smaller than both of them? And the answer was yes. So purple is smaller, purple is smaller, I, th I think it's, I think it's this. 
four thirty two. Let's see. Blue and blue and yellow. A B C D E. Right, so we asked we asked if blue and yellow are less than six, and it said no, which means yeah. Okay. It could be four thirty two. We're gonna guess four thirty two. Let's go. Four thirty two. How? It's probably because I was reading that ass backwards. Ah. I can't believe I was that, I was reading that backwards. All right, let's see how many fours there are. One four is blue greater than or no less than. Hmm. Let's go for purple. We'll put purple less than both of the other guys. Is there more e odd than even? All right, let's try that. So, is there one four in the answer? Yes. There's exactly one four. Is blue greater than the other guys? It's not. Is there more even or odds? There is more evens than odds. All right. <coughs> so there's one four. Let's see if the um, let's see if yellow is greater or less than the other guys. All right. So let's find out: is blue and yellow less than six? No, they're not less than six. Uh, is there mixed up order? Yes, there is mixed up order, so it's not ascending or descending. And um, the question was, is purple, no, is yellow less than the other two? And no, yellow is, so purple is less than the other two. There's one four, which means is blue or yellow four? Because if purple is a four, then, well, let's see. Could, if purple is a four, could it be a five five? No, because there's more even than odds. So it couldn't be a five five. No. So um, purple is probably not five or four. We are going to ask if blue and yellow are equal to six. And we can know there's no order and we know there's even and we know that purple is less. All right, let's let's find out. It is equal to six. So whatever blue and blue and yellow equals six. So it's four, two, three, three, or five, one. Okay, and which makes sense because well, no, it can't be four, two. It's got to be five, five, one, or three, three, because it's uh, no, it can't be. Uh, yes, it can be three, three. Right. Right, it can be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it can be a five. Well, it can't be five one because it was. Yeah, okay. So I think I know the answer. I think I know the answer. It's three three two. Right, because purple is less than both yellow and blue. If purple is a three, 
then blue and yellow would equal greater than 6. There has to be more odd. Oh, wait, no. There's more e. Oh, good thing I checked that. There's more even than odd. Hang on a second. Did I mess that all up again? Which I'm, I'm apt to doing. There's one four. All right. Oh, right, 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 right. There's one four. Blue and yellow. Okay, so blue and yellow have got to equal six. So if blue's a four, then yellow's a two. And if yellow's a four, then blue's a two. So it's a four, two, or two, four. And if that's the case, that means purple's got to be a one then if purple's less. Right? But it's not ascending order, and it's not descending order. Ooh, that's a tricky one then. Let me think. There's more even than odd, correct? Uh, there is more even than odd, yes. One of them is a four. There's exactly one four. And if uh, green and or blue and yellow equals six, blue's a four or yellow's a four, which means the other one's a two, which is our two even numbers, which means purple has to be an odd. Well, no, there could be all even numbers. But we know purple is less than both green or yellow and blue. So if blue is a two. Purple's got to be a 1. It's a 4, 2, 1, or 2, 4, 1 is the answer. I'm just trying to figure out how we know if it, the 4 is a blue. Um, oh, I know, because that would be, it's got to be 2, 4, 1. It's got to be 2, 4, 1, because this way is, is descending order. And if we switch this over, four, 2, 4, 1 is not any order so it should be 241 unless this is cheating me again which it's known to do because I'm so good at this game it should be a 241 oh come on bull 241 that is more even I think I think this game is broken by the way I think there's some there's some programming issues with it or something because <laughs> let's go less than with the oh, yellow would go less than um, we'll think purple is greater than yellow and we'll see if there's one pair all right that's a good number let's see if there's let's see if there's a pair is there a pair there is a pair there's definitely a pair is yellow less than three? Yes. I mean, less than four, sorry. It is less than four. So yellow is not a four there. Okay. And is it even or odd? It is uh, an odd number, which means it's not even. Okay. So, um... Let's find out if yellow is less than purple. And let's find out if there's more even or odds. Is there more odds? No, there's more evens. More evens. Okay. And is yellow less than purple? Yellow is not less than purple. So... Purple's got to be less than yellow, and yellow's got to be a three. Yellow has got to be a three. It's less than four. It's an odd number. 
And it's greater than purple. It can't be a one because if it was greater than one. It would be greater. Oh, no, that's not true. It could be equal to purple. Damn. Okay. Right. It could be equal to. Um, there is one pair. Let's find out if that pair is equal here. Um, so we're going to pass this. No, we're going to. Let's find out if it's. If yellow is equal to purple. Is yellow equal to purple? No. So yellow is not equal to purple. So it means blue is equal to purple. Or blue is equal to. Um, hmm. There's more even than odd. There's a one bear. So blue is got to equal yellow. No, that's not true. Blue could equal blue could equal whatever purple is. Hmm, that's true. Blue could equal what purple is. There's more evens and there's one pair. So We know blue is not a four or five because there's at least one pair. So it either matches yellow or it matches purple. Now, we know that per, uh, yellow is ink. Uh, let's see, what do we decide? Yellow is not less than and it's not equal to. Wait a minute. Is that right? It's greater than purple? We asked if yellow was less than purple, and it said no. And then we asked if it was equal to purple, and it said no. So yellow is greater than purple. Yellow is greater than purple. But it's less than four, and it's odd. So it can't be a one, so it's definitely a three. So purple is definitely either a one or two. There is more even numbers. Oh yeah. Here we go. Hang on a second. If there's more even numbers, there's only two even numbers on the board. It's gotta be two two. It's gotta be two two. So it's got to be 232. It's got to be 232, right? Doug? Am I, yeah, Doug, Doug had it right, too. Doug had the same thing with me. 232. 232, because there's more even. Victory! Yes! Doug! 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 Doug's as smart as me. We're going to try one more time. One more time. Then we'll maybe we'll move on to another game. I, I'm, I feel better getting on a roll here. Oh! What happened? Oh, okay. So we got to find out if blue is greater than three. If purple is even, odd. And um, if there's one double, no repetitions or triple number. Let's find out if there is a double number. Boom. Let's find out right off the bat. Is there a double? No double. So it's either a triple or there's no repetitions. Is blue greater than three? It is greater than three. So. And. Um, is blue greater than purple and yellow? No. Blue is not greater than purple and yellow. All right. Good. So, we know blue is either four or five, but blue isn't greater than both of them. Let's go with the, let's go with the five there. See if it's an odd number. Let's put in a four and no repetitions. 
So go 435. Yes, there are no repetitions, so it's not a triple number. If there are more evens or odds. Now let's find out if purple's an even or odd. Purple is not an odd, so it's even even number. Purple is either two or four. And now let's find out does that mean there is more odd than even? There's more odd than even. Which means since purple is an even, means odd. You have to be odd, you have to be odd. You have to be odd, you have to be odd. Okay. So now what we have to do is find out is yellow. Yellow can't be greater than them. We gotta find out if purple is um wait a minute. Holy cow. Why do uh, how do how do we narrow down the blue is blue is greater than three, so it's a four or five. So blue has got to be a five, but blue is not greater than both purple and yellow. Or I'm sorry, blue is small. I did it again. Ah, oh, blue is smaller. Ah, oh, I was doing greater than. It's not greater than. Blue is smaller than purple. Dummy. So the, the question I put in was, was blue, no, my question was, uh, um, I put in, what did I put in? I put in 433, and the question we asked was, Uh, that was, uh, I don't know. That's not what I was asking. <laughs> There's no double number. So if five, if blue is a five, yellow can't be a five. Let's find out if yellow is smaller than blue and purple. Is yellow smaller? No, yellow is not smaller. Yellow is not smaller. Uh, we decided that um, is even. Blue is greater than three, but there's more even than odds. Since purple isn't all even, then blue and yellow have to be odds. It means blue has got to be a five. Yellow is less, is not less than both blue and purple. There's no repetitive numbers. We asked, we were dumb with this first question because I keep going, is blue greater than? It's not greater than, it's smaller than. God. Let me see if there's any way to deduct. Um, blue or yellow is not smaller, so it could be three, two. So it can't be one, actually. It can't be a one can't be a one because this would have to be a minimum of yeah it's got to be a three it's got to be a three and if that's the case that's two odd numbers and they have to be even and we know that yellow is not less than both of them it has to be greater than purple So I believe it's 532. 
I believe it's 532 because yellow has got to be. It's not smaller than both blue and purple. We know it's smaller than blue, so it can't be smaller than purple. So it's got to be 532. Am I right? There's no repeating numbers. There's more even. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right then. Did I mess that up too? Let's see. The question was, is there more odd than even? And the answer is yes. That isn't odd. That isn't odd and even. Okay, so that's right. There's more odd than even. These, these greater than and equal sign drive me crazy obviously i read them backwards all the time all right let's uh let's pass and let's see if that's right uh it's gonna be 532 let's see if we can end on a victory there we go and on a positive note there we go all right lovely whoo all right let's see if um Oh, it's a beta. This game is a beta. Yeah, well, you fix up, fix your problem there. Yeah, because there were several times I know I got it right and you messed it up. So <laughs> I'm sure I didn't do anything wrong, except for read the greater than and upside down. So that didn't help. But yeah, nice little game. I like that. All right, so let's um, let's try something a little more meany this time. And I'm looking at uh, maybe Arc Nova. We can play solo. Let's try it. Let's try it. I've never played their online version. I've always wanted to see what it was like. Welcome to Arc Nova and Board Game Arena. This is a brief tour of the interface to make sure you'll enjoy the game to the fullest. Note that it's not a substitution for knowing the rules. But we will help you to see the game is implemented here. Okay. Major changes compared to the printed version. Scoring and conservation point spaces features a small number so that to determine your score, you only have to add the number of the spaces with your conservation points marked on it and your appeal to have your total. No more calculating the distance between your two markers. If your markers cross, your score will be above 100. If they don't, you'll be, be below 100. Both scores are displayed in the implementation. Solo play and sponsor guards with the requirement maximum of 25 appeal. If you start a solo game with 12, 10 to 20 starter appeal, these requirements should read 35 to 45 appeal. All right, yeah, I think um, you must just select the zoom map you want to. Um, map five, I guess. I don't know. You must select the zoom map you want to play. Oh, okay. All right, so we got... You must select the four cards you want to keep. Yes. All right. So, Indian pay, pea fowl. We have the showbill. We have the cougar. Jumping three. Advance the break token three spaces. Medical breakthrough game two appeal for each time you already support a conservation project. You can always tell how many by the player tokens missing from the left side of your zoo map. Hydrologist game one appeal for each water icon in your zoo. You can find these in the cards, blah blah blah. Sure, we got the spotted hyena compound. Unique building in your zoo. For each predator icon you play, reveal the top X cards of your deck. Add one revealed animal card to your hand. Mercant. Mercants. 
and large animals. Requires large animals in your zoo. Oh. Huh. These have got a lot of requirements on them. Like this one here is like, you need to have four scientist tags. I think that's what those, I think that's what those, uh, over on the left hand side of the card, I think these are requirements. Like for example, this one has two there. This one has got like the Asia world icon. I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since I've been playing. All right, so we got to select four to keep, huh? Jeez. Let's keep a cougar. Uh, maybe that's... Hydrologists and large animals. All right. Let's choose an action card. All right, so what do we have here? We have our build, build one building with the maximum size of X. How much money do we have? Do, 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 do. I guess we're blue. Didn't ask us what color we wanted to be, but I guess it just puts you as blue. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I thought we were supposed to start with some things on the board. Or... Uh, Oh, I wonder what, hmm, you know what, maybe that's player board four. Maybe I should, uh, hmm. Well, that's all right. We'll figure it out as we go. Draw a card from the deck. Um. Is in spot four, so we would draw two cards. We wouldn't have to discard any cards. We could draw two cards, or we could try to snap a card, but we'd have to wait until this goes up another spot. Draw cards from the deck or snap. Snapping is like taking cards from the deck here. All right, I'm trying to remember how to do all this stuff. It's been so long. Bald Eagle. Oh, we can't put that down into our... We have to upgrade our uh, animal card over to level 2. That's never going to happen. Chinese Water Dragon. Sunbathing too. You can sell up to 2 cards from your hand for 4 eats. We have the Fennis Fox. After finishing the current action, you may place any action card on, ooh, number one space. All right, well, anyways, let's, let's just, all right, so we gotta build, let's build. All right, so, all right. Uh, your building must, you must build a building of at most size four, or size five. Um, 
Well, let's see. Our cougar, we need a little three, and it needs to be next to a mountain, right? All right, so let's uh, let's build a size three. Oh, okay, then it gives us like a little, oh, that's cool. Hmm. I think you do have to start off next to the uh, the edge. Like I think you have to start off somewhere in the edge, but I'm surprised it won't let me. Like um. Yeah, and there I can go there and get five, whatever that is, there. And it's next to water. And it's next to, yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. All right. Lovely. Where's our animals? Our animals start way down here. Right, cards. So now we can get draw three cards, discard one card, or we can try to snap a card. If there's something we really, 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 really wanted... For each predator icon that is played in any zoo, gain three money per icon. Yeah, we would like this guy. I must confirm uh, our restart return. Let's uh, let's confirm. All right. Now, cards. I want. If we're gonna play our cougar, right? Our cougar. It's got the predator icon. Oh, look, it's got the little check marks to let you know. Oh, yes, you have an enclosure. You have a size three enclosure, and you have the money to pay for this. By the way, we never did see how much money we have. How much money? That must be... Is that money? No? Four cards. We have twenty of the tickets. I'm trying to remember what that is, but I think I think this is I think this is money, but I could be wrong. Alright, um so I would like to get the expert in predators in. So we're gonna You must take three cards from the deck. And discard one, or we can snap one card, which, again, we could just grab one off of here. If we had some ranks in that, um, eventually you can do that for free. Do we want the Predator? Because he's going to go away if we don't. He's going to go away. We're going to snap it. I hate to waste that because we can get a whole bunch of cards and probably a good one, but we're going to, we, we don't want this guy disappearing. See what's going to happen is just cycling through. So, and you notice up here, it's like the little timer. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six across. And every time we take uh, a thing, it moves this down and we get and then at the end, like the last cube disappears and it resets. So we have seven turns and six turns and five turns and four turns and three turns and two turns and one turn. And that's it. So I think it adds up to like 25 turns. All right. What are we at now? We're at sponsors. Play a sponsor card with a maximum level. Do I have a sponsor card? Uh, let's play sponsors. Oh, I do have a sponsor card. 
Hydralist or the Predator? Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So we got some money or something for that. Because that just went up. So, oh, I wonder if it counts its own little icon. Oh, you know, I wonder. Okay, so this isn't. Uh, I think I messed it up. Which makes sense, right? Now that I think about it, this isn't. Like every time I pray a predator card, this is like if I have a whole bunch of predators in. Uh, let's undo. Because I want to undo because I don't want to play that guy until I have a whole bunch of predators in my zoo and then bring them in because then I get a whole bunch of money for each predator icon that is played in any zoo. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think this, this little icon means um, huh. The little icon means everyone add up the predators and get three bucks a piece. So we're playing solo, so there's nobody else besides that. Yeah, we're definitely going to restart our turn. Yeah, all right. Because we don't want to put that guy into play until we have a bunch of predators on the table. Let's see if we can bring this guy in. Can we play an animal yet? Can we play an animal? Cougar in there. Confirm. Cougar in there. There we go. You must choose which effect to resolve. Wait, what's this? Advance the break token three spaces, gain three, or gain four. Oh, five tickets. I don't know if it's better to advance the break token three spaces, gain three bucks, or just gain five. Let's go there. Uh, let's confirm. Sponsors. What is this thing? Associations. That's what we want. I think it's... God, it's been so long since I played. Associations. You just perform an associate test. Take, take a partner to... Take... Um, Well, if we take the ages thing, then we can play this guy. Once we get a size three and we can build another thing, we can build, uh, we can have the Indian peafowl in there. Yeah, that's fine. Take that zoo. All right, so essentially we have to build. We can build again or any. Um, sponsors. I, uh, we got to confirm our last one, right? There goes another turn. Let's go sponsors. You must play one sponsor card from your hand. All right, gain one appeal for each water icon in your zoo. You can find these in your cards. Other requirements. Each time you cover a space adjacent to a water space, gain one money. You gain one money for each of your spaces, even if you build several spaces adjacent to water at the same time. You always gain one money per space, even if the space on which you are building is adjacent to more than one water space. Gain one conservation point if all water spaces are connected, meaning that no water space is not adjacent to any open spaces. Uh, so getting him into play would be good. Confirm play. So this way, he'll, I think he'll let his build a little bit better, I think. 
Um, and do I have... Just looking to see if, um... Oh, the camera. Okay. Um, lovely. Turns go by so damn fast. It's like, wait a minute. I did not do five turns already. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Cheaters? All right. We can build again. Yeah, it's time to build. Let's build. It's going to build. <gasps> wait, why can we only what? Do we not have the money? Is that what the problem is here? Is that what the major malfunction is? We must not have enough money. What is the money? Where's the money? Oh, these are all your different icons. That is obviously not the money then. That must be something else. Well, let's see if there's a... Uh... Yeah, it says pay two per space. And that is the same shape as this. I have 17 money. Why can I not afford? It's in the fifth space. See, and it's, oh, it added. Wait a minute, restart turn. Something in the way you move. Where's my freaking money? Oh, here's like the board, except for it doesn't look anything like the board at all. So that's confusing. Okay. Give me some money, please. And why can I not build something? Oh, I, I bet you I know why. Because there's nowhere... Adjacent to where I just built, that has got three spaces available, I bet. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to build out before... Okay, that's... Well, okay, that's interesting. Let's rotate this. Take card, one card within reputation range or draw one card from the deck. What are you doing to me? See, there's nowhere to put like a three down. We're going to have to build out over here. What the hell is this thing? That's interesting. All right. Uh, but we should have got some money for this water guy, right? Every time we cover up the space adjacent to water, we should have got some money for that. Uh, you must take one card. We can take this one here, I think. Uh, reputation reigns. Yeah, these are all grayed out, even though you can't tell it. Um, we can take this one. Low mountain range. Release one bird in the wild. 
So we have to discard a bird. And I don't, hmm. I don't know those numbers at the bottom if that means, hmm. If it's from a, hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Let's just draw one from the deck because I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. I guess I'm kind of sure. What do we get? Alpine, I, Amex. Ooh, nice. Double Mountain, Double Mountain. And it is next to a Double Mountain. We can build this guy. Let's go, let's build it. It's not a Predator, but we're going to put our Cougar right next to our Alpine Ibex. And a little Cougar is going to be like, I smell, I smell, I smell dinner. Let's go animal. Uh, so we have to, uh, it's our turn. Let's, I can't, why can't I do animals? Huh? Regular size enclosed two next to mountains. Next to two mountains. How is that not? Do they have to be diff different mountains? Is that crazy? Are you sure? It can't be the same mountain, huh? See, this is why you got to play this game online so you can figure out. I I would have never known that that is like it's got the two little the two little mountain things there, but it's got to be two different mountains. It can't be like two spaces next to the same mountain, huh? So I'm gonna have to build something over here adjacent to these guys. Two mountains. That's crazy. That's not very nice. All right, what do we got? Cards. We're going to do the card thing again. All right, let's go cards. We're going to... Um, we can snap a card if we really, really, really wanted it. But... Uh, hmm. Ooh, this guy's Chinese water dragon. He's got a water symbol on him. You may sell up to two cards from your hand for four bucks a piece. That would get us a little bit of money if we needed He's going to have a regular size, at least one size. And it's got to be adjacent to water, which it is. And then the eight is crossed off and it only costs us five. Not sure why. Um, it would give us another Asia symbol. For our Indian Indian waterfowl, how is this not counting for this thing? Hmm. Do we want the Chinese water dragon? Or do I get three three cards off the off the off the deck and we can get this guy later? Let's go with that. Let's go ahead. We're gonna draw three cards. So we got the Mountain Tapar Tapir, the I Indian Rock Python. We got an engineer. Each time you take the build action, you can build exactly one more of any of the built types. This does not apply to special enclosure. Oh, really? Um, yeah. All right. So uh, that's good. Oh, we have to discard a card. I think we're going to discard large animals because we're not doing so good with large animals. So let's get rid of that. So you guys at, at home, I actually got the marine expansion here, but I my camera went out because I was getting ready to um, like do a live session. 
Uh, so maybe this will maybe playing this online will inspire us to uh, get this on the table with the marine expansion. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and confirm. Let's watch and see what happens because this might be the last turn before all hell breaks loose. Let's see. Okay, that goes down, then it resets. We lose something, it resets. Um, warning, your clock is negative. You should pay now. What the hell does this mean? Your clock is negative. You should play now. Oh. All right. Well, let's play a card then. Um, break. You must discard. You must discard three cards. All right, because you can only have a ma after break. You can only have so many cards. We're gonna keep the engineer, the predator, and uh, we're gonna get, hmm. get rid of him. We only have three cards, right? Because we didn't. We you can get extra cards and stuff with the different universities. I would like to keep some of these cards. Suits. So I got to remember these things. Like when it's coming time for the brink, I got to remember. Don't just draw a bunch of cards because you're gonna have to discard them anyways. So, all right. That's why we play the game is to, so we can try to remember. So the brink also, they cycle through all the things, right? It's been a while since I played, I'll be honest, but um, it's coming back to me a little bit, coming back to a little bit, coming back to animals. So let's put, we can't put an animal out. We have to build. We got no animals. So let's see, we can put an engineer out though. Take the engineer before we take the build action. The engineer is what? See the associations? Um, play one sponsor card. Yes. Sponsors. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry. Undo, undo. I have to play associations first. So I can move the sponsors up, right. So we have to play associations first. All right, so we can tank. You must perform an association task. Tank a partner zoo, take a university. So taking the university gives us some research. Hmm. Five cards and a thing. A research and two. If we took another zoo, we would cover this spot, which means we could take one of our cards and flip it over. Which means we can play the more powerful part of that card. Depends on which animals we want to add to the zoo. We obviously can't take this again, but we can take any of the others. But we have one animal, so we don't know. We definitely want the engineer. We're going to take this one. All right, now I'm so bad at this game. Let's do sponsors. And then we can do the engineer. Each time we take the build action, we can build one more. Yeah, let's do that. Pay. How much are we going to pay? Four money. Right now we got 34 money. Let's confirm. Let's watch our money and see if it goes away. Nope. It didn't go away. Hmm. Heh. All right. Let's build. Can we build something now? Let's build. 
We would like some animals, my friends. Do 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 do. What in the heck? Put that there. And now I have to rot rotate this. Put that there. Place any action card and after finishing, you can place any action card in slot one. Oh. Um, we can also come over here and take take one card within reputation range or draw a card. We can't place it there. That would give us some money back because we'll be adjacent to water. This is next to water. This is next to water. This will be next to water. That's next to water. This is next to water. We'll get a lot of money back. And uh, take a card in range. Okay. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's... um. You may take one card from display in reputation range. Our reputation range, right. That, is that the little is that the little um hat thing? Is that what that is? How did we get the reputation range? We did something to give us an extra range. Because now we can get the Chinese water dragon. We can actually do we can also do the fox. He goes in size one too. Maybe we should build a size one. We can get both of these guys sometime. Hmm. But how do we get up to re um, uh, reputation range two? That's what this is here. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. So like your little hats. Okay. So it is the little hats. That's what I was looking for. Was the little track. It is. It does look different. Uh, please forgive me. It does look different on. Board Game Arena. It's just trying to figure out where everything is. All right. So I, I thought there was a track. And so there's the track. It is the little hats. So we bought the little hat. It moved us up. So we can go for the Chinese water dragon. We can go to the clever fox. I, he's a predator too. We're going to, yeah, we're going to get the fox. We're going to try and bring the fox in. All right. Now. We're actually going to build a level. Uh, you must choose an action. Uh, we should have been able to actually hmm, put any card in spot one. Wasn't that one of our. <sighs> All right. If we build a level one, we'll be able to build this guy. He's a level three. We could build, we could, how many animals can we put in? Mm -hmm. Play animal cards from your hand. Oh, we can put two animals in. Yes, we can. All right, let's do it. Let's build animals. Let's build, I mean, it is a zoo after all. All right, so fox me here. All right, and then Indian peafowl me here. All right. Now, if we bring this guy in, we should get a lot of money because we got two. Well, I mean, all right. We got to choose which of these effects so we can um, place up to two kiosks or pavilions for free, <coughs> or we can get seven. Place up to two kiosks or pavilions for free. Hmm. Or 
seven tickets. If we look at our ticket, uh, where's the ticket board again? Let's see, there's a way to, there it is. So if we gain seven tickets, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, chaos for, for, for or pavilions. Let's gain seven tickets. It says we're at thirty six. Oh, what is this? Oh, I was thinking this is where we were. At. No, we were here. Okay. Ah. Uh, you may place a pavilion or king us for free. Pavilion increase the appeal of your zoo by one. Kiosk must always be at least three spaces from every other kiosk in your zoo. During a break, you take one money for each unique building, special enclosure, occupied standard enclosure, or pavilion adjacent to it. So, yes, you get money. Based if you got a lot of animals adjacent to it, I think. This is your appeal, which again is this your appeal? Is that what that is? I gotta remember the terms. Um You may place a pavilion or a king ask for free. I have two remaining, so I might as well. Put that there. And put that there. Clever, you may move one action card. Two space one. All right, so um, well, we're almost out of cards, but we're almost ready for another break. Um, associations. Um, perform one association task. Yeah, that's what that was always my week. I never could get wrap my head around that. Associations and sponsors. Place one sponsor card with the maximum level. Yeah, so we need this. So we're going to move the association tab down. There we go. All right. Confirm. All right. Uh, Doug says, uh, yes, sir. I need you to play this one on the table so I can learn this one. Uh, I have it, but I haven't played it yet. Yeah, um, get on Board Game Arena and you learn how to play it because I'm remembering a lot of things I forgot about. That is for sure. A lot of things I forgot about. <laughs> I, a good thing I didn't bring it out because I would be like thoroughly messing it up. So, uh, all right, so now we got to, um, let's go. We're going to almost, we got two turns before. So if we can do cards... Let's go for cards. We need a bunch of cards. So I can take three cards from deck, or I can snap up one of them. Um, anything that would fit in a th size three would be good. Oh, here we go. What do we have here? Oh, 22. Holy cow. No, I don't think so, buddy. Um, We don't, oh, we don't have a partner zoo for this guy. Hmm. Okay. Rhinoceros, we can't get in. We got nothing for that guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm wondering if um, we're just going to draw three cards from the deck. Yep. How do we get here? We got a. Ah, uh, uh, we don't have a zoo. Of course we don't. We got a research. Requires research icons in your zoo. Okay. What is our? Oh, you know what? I for completely forgot. I completely forgot there's like goals. Like one of the goals was predators. Uh, another one is European and the other one is primates. These are like goals for us to try to complete. Fortunately for us, we do have a couple primates. Um, I wonder, can we claim that yet? Well, we got to do something to claim that. All right. Uh, so I must discard a card. Right. Let's get rid of the hippopotamus because he's doing nothing for us. Hippopotamus. All right. So we're done our last turn before the break. And we're almost out of cash. So fortunately for us, I think you want to peel for each Europe icon in your zoo. Well, right now we don't have any Europe. Do we? No, we don't have any Europe. Not a single Europe. Okay. Congratulations. No. Um, predators. He'll actually make us a little bit of money. So we're gonna uh, yeah, we're gonna bring in the expert in predators. Fortunately for us. We have predators, so it requires predators in the zoo, so it makes sense for us to you do the sponsors, right? Sponsor, you, play, went from six to not, six to nine. Hmm. All right. Not sure how he went from six to nine, but okay. Toffee break time. Here we go. All right. So resetting the displays, right? We get a little bit of money based upon our where we're out on the track, which is uh, here. So we're in the. I think we get twenty-two bucks. If I'm not mistaken. So I'm trying to remember how, 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 how do we get these? Um, we need to build some stuff. We need some new animals. Getting animals would be good. Build. We do need to build. We do have some money now. We could try to get some research icons. We got... Two of them right there. How do we... Uh, uh, what is it? So you may perform one more different association task. In addition, you may make one donation. If you play conservation project cards from within reputation range within, with an additional cost. Right. What is this? Why is this pointing here and here and here? That's crazy. All right, let's uh, let's build. Let's try and build some.
You can build that there. I should be able to build another one. Right? Whoa, 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 whoa. What about our builder? Engineer. Wasn't it our engineer each time you take a build action? That was the build action. You may build one exactly one more of any of the build. Do, 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 do. Let's uh, undo, restart the turn. Let's try and build again. Maybe you can only do that up to a certain size. Let's try a level three. Just to see if it will allow me to maybe build the building of size at most two and or use engineer's power. So it'll let me, mm, let's restart the turn. So that's interesting, it'll let, it'll let maybe because of money or maybe because of size. Is it a size issue? Oops. Maybe there's, uh, oh, there's nowhere else I can put this, maybe? Is that, well, that's probably what it is. There's nowhere else I could squeeze it in there. So it's it's automatically like, you can't do that. I can build a level three and then another level three. Yes. Why won't let me build there? That's crazy. Why won't you let me build there? Huh. Why won't it let me build there? Hmm? Hmm. It's adjacent to my guy and it's not blocked by anything. I don't understand. I am thoroughly confused why won't let me build there. It's got this, I don't know what this... Like little pointy thing is, and why is it pointing there? Where is it going to let me build? Oh, right there is the only spot I can. F oh my god, that is crazy. What do I get? I can put okay any that is um that is crazy why would why can't I build there I don't get it animals well if I had some animals that would be great Oh, I can move any one action card right. Um, hmm. Association. I can make an association. So, um, I'm actually thinking about moving animals down because right now I don't have any animals. Normally you always want your animals highest, but I don't think we're going to do anything with our animals for a little while because... We have no animals. I have to draw them. All right, 
Let's see what happens. Well, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Associations perform at least one association task with the mess. So this is where can I predators? We have one, two. We got three predators. We should be able to. Association. Let's go with dissociation. Play or support a conservation project. Yes. Play or play, uh, select a conservation project you want to play or support predators. We want to. How can I only have two predators? Does that only count for animals? Is that crazy or what? So this guy's icon doesn't count? It says require predator icons in your zoo. Predator icons in your zoo. That should include any of my beebles do I think but obviously it doesn't so that's a Christ printer icon in your zoo so I can claim the two one but why would I want to do that well that's not helpful at all not not in the least thanks not in the least All right, so we're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna take a take a university. We're gonna we're gonna go heavy on research because I got the research one, right? So can I play um, play or support a conservation? No, that's not what I do there. Take university, play. Uh, oh, we can take two and move this up. Nah, no. Take university. We're going to go with the research. If I can figure out how to play the research card, which may be the other card there. You must upgrade an action card. Right. Um... I think I I think we're going to upgrade our animals because I, with the animals I think you can then play them not only from your hand but in re reputation range building allows us to build one more different we screwed ourselves by choosing this map right off the bat we should have chose the just normal default one which would have been much better sponsors um and uh, during a break, we gained 2x, ooh, two times the money. We are about ready to do, no, we're not about ready to do. Um, hmm. We get two times the amount of money. Hmm. Cards, which is nice. You get a lot more cards, but again, hmm. all right. We're just we're gonna upgrade our animals. I think that's hopefully hopefully gonna be decent. Okay, cards. Yeah, we definitely need some cards, man. So we can take three cards from deck, or we can snap one, which means we can just take it. 
He costs us three. 22 money to bring him in. But uh, you may sell cards for $3 in your hands. Sea Cave. Uh, we don't have that zoo and we don't have that zoo. Sheep, we don't have the penning zoo and we don't have that. So it's either the Tornus. Either the Tortoise, or we draw three cards and hope for the best. He's not a Predator. He's not going to help us with this. He is not from Europe either, and he's not a Primate, so he's absolutely worthless. Now let's draw three cards from the deck and hope hope for the best. All right, we got a, a Vulture who's not helpful either, and we got a Llama who's not helpful either. And we got the Guided School Tours. Gain one conservation point if you have five or more animal categories. What is our categories? That I think that's what these are there. Primates, amphibians, uh, birds. Wow, we got a really bad draw. Jeez. And oh, and we got to discard a card. <sighs> Bye. No school tours in my... No, no school tours. I hate kids. I don't even like my kids. I mean, no, I love my kids, but I'm just kidding. I love my kids. They're the best. They're the only two that I can really stand, to be honest, though. All right, choose an action card. Here we go. Sponsors. Expert in Europe. Which, we literally don't have anything for Europe. Absolutely don't have anything for Europe. He's the only one I have. So let's go ahead and just play him and see what happens. We gain uh, one ticket or we can build for free. What do we get? So for each Europe icon in play, you can place a one spice enclosure on your zoo map for free. Okay. Place for free. We can... Why can't I put there? What's going on with this stupid... Oh, like you can't go there until you're like... Got your level two? Is that what's going on there? Oh, that's... That's just dumb. Um, if I go there, I can take a card within reputation range. Go here. Play a sponsor card from your hand by paying X money, where X is equal to the level of the card. Uh, this means you need to fulfill the conditions. Your sponsor action card stays in the same slot and is not moved by this effect. Like maybe you can't build there until you... Hmm. Can't put it there. Has to be adjacent where I already built. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
is there a guard within reputation range or all right we're just going to go there because i want to i actually want to see what this does you may build a uh, building for free yes okay got it put it right there we got a we got a dollar from our building guy Uh, you may choose which effect to resolve. Expert on your pass. Okay. Build. This is a level five. Or the bird. Let's go with the bird. Let's see if we can. We got to confirm our last turn. All right. Let's see if we can build the. Can we build for the bird? Let's build for the bird. Let's try. Oh, wait. Yes, we need the aviary. All right, let's build. Build, build. Let's go. No, I don't want a petting zoo. Oh, I got nowhere to put the aviary. Um, that's interesting. He's going to cost a level si 5 enclosure. Oh, there's nowhere to put that, I guess. Oh, you know, no, I know what the problem is. I don't have, I don't have the other side of the building card. Yeah, you needed to build the large building every or the reptile house, right? <laughs> so we can't build for this guy. Get out of here. Oh, I can share the existing closure with another animal. Huh. Huh. Well, build. He only needs size two. Let's go ahead. Build the size two. Build a size three. Let's go there. Okay. Uh, you must take a card from the display and reputation range. Um, Indian rhinoceros, we need to be level two. And this one, sure, let's get this. Oh my gosh, so many requirements. Yes, we will um, bring in this guy as well. Put him right there. Okay. Animals. Animals. Oh, we're doing the coffee break. Can't even get to our animals. Guess I should have noticed that. Wow. Well, American bison. Oh, wow. We need three of them before you can put them in. Okay. Penny zoo animal. Let's do uh, animals. So I have. So I have. You may play one card from a hand or within repute. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I can actually do. Right. Let's do the tortoise too. The tortoise too. Let's do the tortoise too. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's put them in there. Might as well play them since. Uh, what are we going to do here? We can gain one African spurred tortoise.
sell up to three cards or gain six African. Uh, let's get six tur tickets. Gain one. You can sell up to three cards for four bucks each. Let's sell them. Can't put, I mean, I can't put the Vulture in. And the other guy I'd have to get is Zoo, and I'm not going to. So let's sell him. Get some money back. Confirm. You guys come to my zoo. Wouldn't you come to my I think you would come to my zoo. It's a pretty good zoo. Associations. Let's see what we can do with the old associations. All right, we can get another research. So when we put out our research. So now we're up to rank three of this. Talented communicator. Sure. Um, you must upgrade an action card. Reputation track bonus. Okay, that is part of... Right, it's part of this thing. So we get to upgrade a card... This time I want, I think I want the, uh, this one, the building one, because then I can build in these spots. All right, confirm. Let's choose an action. Cards, we definitely can use all the cards you could possibly give us at this point. Ah. Uh, Take three cards or discard one or snap any one of these cards. Is there something that's like, none of these are predators. It's going to help us. We're just going to draw three cards from the deck. What do we end up getting? Rock monitor. The laughing uh, Coca Kabura. And of course, we don't have an Asian to put him out. We have to discard a card. Hmm. Geological. Ooh. Mountains. We actually have several things with mountains in them. Uh, let's get rid of this guy because we, we can't put him out. Okay. Confirm. See where our turns were down. Jeez. We're, we're sunk. We're sunk. Sponsors. Sponsor. Play it. Oh, I don't have a sponsor card. No. Restart. We don't want to do sponsors then. Huh. We can do animals. Because he only has to... Uh, do we have enough money for him? We do have enough money for him. Uh, is there anything else we could put out? Do we want to try to build the petting zoo first then? <sighs> There's the petting zoo. No, because it's going to go away at the end of the turn. Right? So as soon as the end of the turn happens, we're going to do our break, and then these two first cards disappear. So getting this card is not going to happen. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to animal. We're just going to do animals. Put him over there. Um... Let's go ahead and take this. 
you can sell them to three cards now. Uh, yeah, pass. You know, play one card from hand or within reputation range of two. No, I can't do either of that. Yeah. So, yep, didn't do very well there. And then we're on a break already. And then we're going to have two turns, take another break. And then we have one turn, and the game's going to be over. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Um, Getting me some cards have been nice. Sponsors. We still can't do sponsors. Um, associations. This guy, um, if we do, mm, let's do associations. We want this one. If I put, I have not put out my research one yet. Have oh yes, I have. I but I got research ones. Um, yeah, let's get this one. Right, upgrade a card. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do that one. All right. If I do cards. No. Oh, I can only draw two and discard one. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if we get it. Oh my god, another one of these? Are you kidding me? <sighs> reptiles. We actually have two reptiles out there. Uh, can we put this guy in the... Petting Zoo. How many mountains do we have? Two mountains. We got two reptiles. We got two of like everything. Uh, let's just get rid of these. Can we build? Let's build. <laughs> no, we can't build what I need. What do I need? Oh, I need the, yeah, penning zoo. I need the penning zoo. <sighs> Put it there. Um, I can build a kiosk. I'm going to put that there. Trying to see where I want to put this. I don't know. Put it there. Sure. What does that spot cover? Uh, 
Break time. I have uh, very few turns remaining, so I have some buildings ready to go. If I can get some animals in them, that would be awesome. If I could play this guy, Sloth Bear, um, if I play animals, if I play animals, can I play this guy? I can, alright. Let's bring him into play. Let's bring this guy into play. Got a couple extra animals. Lovely. You may place the association card to one to five. Uh, one. Okay, confirm. I think we got like one more turn. Really getting some more cards would be nice. If I had some decent cards. Barn, barn Owl, that would have been good like an hour and a half ago. What is this nonsense? What are these cards? Oh, uh... Gain one for each empty building space in your zoo. Or climbing park. Gain one for each rock icon in your zoo. For each empty building space. Well, I'm not going to have 12 or more empty building spaces. So let's go climbing. Oh, no, wait. I have to discard. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so it ended up, well, that was kind of a quick ending there, but uh, it started over some, for some reason. And like, ended the game, it gave me a message, like I have so many points, blah, 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 and then it, then it just went on to the next game. So that's, you must select the zoom map you want to play. Uh, no, I don't want to play again. I want to end this one. Thanks. Does it tell me? No. Uh, oh, right here it is. I have a score of 62 and minus 8 for having three... It has a score of 62 tickets and a score of minus 8 for having three... Some things. Okay. There you go. There's your answer. <laughs> Woo, that was brutal. Brutal. That's definitely one you're going to have to play a few times to get any decent on. So that, I love this game, but it's just super, super hard to get your combos to work together and, and get the right cards. And you can tell, like, the deck is so, the deck is so rigged with cards that getting your... Getting the cards that you need is just super hard. And if they come out really nicely for you, then you can do really well. If they don't come out very nicely for you, it's over. You can't win. There's no way. Why is it... Why 
Why did it start another game? I don't. Let's replay this last move. Well, hmm. I don't know. Why is it? Why is it? Arc Nova's ended. There we go. All right. All right. Well, anyways, I got to go. I'm going to go take a break. I got a headache now from this. So <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, um, come on by at 8 o'clock tonight. 8 o'clock, me and Phoenix Knight are going to be playing Warfighter on the channel. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. We'll see everyone later. Until then, my friends, take care. We'll see you all down the line.